Hey guys, thanks for coming back. Today we've got a brand new knife that is releasing today. Well, the day that this video is going live is when you can order this knife. Or you can buy this knife because they will be shipping. But as of filming this right now, it's pre-orders and release, you know, early release only, you know, pre-orders. So this was loaned in from my good buddy Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. You guys know the drill. There'll be a link down below, 10% off, and all that good noise. This is a brand new Benchmade Bug Out. The model number is, which is also in the description, but that gives you that. And it comes, you know, if you're not familiar with Benchmade's packaging, we'll just show you really quick. It always comes in a little, you know, uh, microfiber-y type pouch inside of a styrofoam box you know nothing super fancy but better than you get with some things so there's that i've done a couple of bug out videos before i've done a mini bug out video and by far this is going to be my favorite of the bug outs that i have handled i haven't never bought a bug out before this one might be the one that changes that in my mind. Okay. It is a very cool colors, very cool materials, and they got everything pretty much right. And they still have the same pocket clip that they've always had. Pro pocket clip issue that they have always had. So let's just run through the specs really quick. It's going to be the same as most all the other bug outs. Four and three sixteenths closed. 7 and 3 eighths overall, 3.2 inch blade, 3.06 cutting edge. This one is in M390. Blade thickness is 0 0.088. Overall thickness of 0 0.409. 2.5 ounces and runs on bearings. This one has broken in in almost no time to be super super fidgety like it broke in more than it better than my griptilian that is at least five years old okay and this is about like less than a day old and it's already smoother and it's way smoother than my 940 and that's about the same age as the griptilian so i don't know it's just super cool what is so cool and what is so unique about this one? The aluminum scales. All of the other bug outs have been, um, you know, they did have some G10. They had some of their, you know, plasticky stuff. You know, it's been different materials. Whereas now it's aluminum and it's not... A lot of people are going to think, oh my God, aluminum, it's chalky, it's gross. You know, it's not. I kept expecting it to be when I pulled it out of the package, but it's not. It feels really great. Nice sunburst effect from the pivot, radiates out, I think is awesome. Same on the backside, first production run marked on the blade, which I think is cool. As a collector, I think that's kind of cool. Now, the pocket clip is almost great. If they had have used countersunk hardware, it'd be great because this does sometimes hang up on my jeans, the screws there. Not every time, but it does hang up from time to time. I love the red. Red's one of my favorite colors. So they've got the red thumb studs and the two red spacers, which I think is very cool. The blade is super well done. Typical, just logo, nothing fancy. First production on the back with the steel. Don't have a problem with any of that. Super thin. So it's 0 0.08 at the thickest back here. It thins up and it thins down with that almost full flat grind. Okay, it's got a little bit of a flat up here, but not much. And geez, this thing just 
almost disappears in your hand. This is going to be a great, um, maybe an office carry because it's not that big. So it's not going to scare people in the lunchroom. Okay. It's not an automatic, so you don't have those issues. Doesn't look big and scary, big and black and burly or something. It's just really nice, super thin, super lightweight. So it disappears in your pocket, regardless of the pants you have. So work in jeans, dockers, slacks, suit, you name it, this will work perfectly. And it feels really nice in the hand. Now, you're not going to do hard use work with this. You're not going to break down a ton of cardboard. I mean, you could, but that's not what this is designed for. Okay. If you're really bearing down on the handle, you're going to start to feel the pocket clip in the back of your hand. But that's not what this knife is for. This is a slicer and dicer. It's going to do some food stuff. This is going to cut your lunch up, cut some cheese and salami, you know, things like that. It's just going to work. And it's super cool. Now, the price on the website, the, the list price is $275. If you buy it from the Benchmade website, uh, if you get it from Gil over at Wildabout Sporting Goods, which well, I hope you do since he's the one who lent this in, and he lent this in. I've seen some other reviews lately where people are talking about these guys that get free knives and they talk about good stuff but it's because they got paid and they got a free knife and all that stuff. No, this gets shipped back, okay? I, I don't make anything off of Gil when he sends me knives. He doesn't send me free knives. He doesn't, you know, just because I review a knife on his that he's loaned me, that's just it. He has loaned them to me and I have to ship them back. Okay. So go get that from him uh, for $233, $234. Plus take 10% off. You can do the math. Okay. And if you're so inclined, you could buy me one and have him ship it to me. That's cool. But I'm kidding. Kidding, not kidding, you know, whatever. But yeah, no, this is actually kind of costs me money, guys. He ships it to me. I have to box it back up and ship it back to him. And uh, with him, we always use UPS or FedEx. So yeah, depending on how much stuff I'm shipping, because sometimes he'll ship me five or six or 10 knives, you know, it may cost me 50 bucks to ship the stuff back to him. So I don't get free knives from anybody. Now, that being said, he did donate three Demco AD 20s, 0.5s, to the channel for giveaways. So again, that has happened. He has donated a knife or two for me to give away f during the time that he's been kind of a sponsor or supporter of the channel. But no, I just want to make it very clear. None of the knives that I review do I get for free and does Gil give me or do any other people give me? They loan me stuff, I film it, I pay to ship it back to them. I just wanna be very clear. So let's do a couple size comparisons. Here it is with the Sharpie. The Delica. And now I've always thought the Benchmade was a cool knife, but I was never really compelled to buy one but this one is super cool i like the gray tone finish of the scales i like the blade length it's basically the same size as the ad 20.5 the ad 20.5 why did, why can i never say that right here's the ad 20 okay so much bigger than the 80 not much smaller than the ad 20 but yeah, these are basically the same size. And they feel very similar in hand. Different shapes, of course, but equally comfortable. I don't know. It's a toss-up, really. And their prices are yeah, different. 233 and 150 So, um, since I pulled out the Griptilian earlier, how about next to the Griptilian? which feels much more full in the hand. It's much thicker, m fills the swell of your hand much better than the bug out for sure. 
But yeah, guys, uh, I'm not saying it because I'm getting paid. I'm saying it because I think this is a cool knife, especially if you're into bug outs. And I know there's a couple of people that have 10 or 15 bug outs because they're just into the bug out thing. Well, if that's you, you're going to want to make sure you get one of these. So Gil, again, thank you very much for sending this out and uh, get it to me early so I could be getting this video released on the day that the knife is released. That's super exciting to me because that doesn't happen very often. I think that might have happened once. Once or, yeah, I think one time I did a thing with Civivi. They sent me a knife, um, a fracture, their slip joint. Uh, and that one I did get to keep. So it, it has happened. I, I just remember that one. I did get two of those to keep, but I gave one away. Uh, and I still have one here that, um, that I did get to keep for those reviews. But that's, that's it. That's the only time I've ever gotten a knife and said, keep that if you do a review type of a thing. And that was like a pass around group. We all kind of signed up to do that Civivi fracture. But yeah, I think that's the only other time I've actually released a knife, a video on the day the knife has released. So very exciting for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think of the bug out and the bug out with aluminum scales. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a fantastic day. We will talk to you tomorrow.